This Tuesday, January 24, from 7 to 9 a.m. It's Live Tuesday, coming to you from the Cool 97 FM studios, featuring live performances by Dwight Richards with the Groove Agents Band. Then it's Nana EQ, adding her voice. And we're in the jungle with Ineasy. No time to be humble. Plus, we get caught up with Just Kim. I just wanna take it slow with you. Go live with Diane Thomas and Michael Thompson inside Live Tuesday on Cool 97 FM and streaming live on Cool 97 FM.com. It's brought to you by Alcavida Alkaline Drinking Water and Braham's Texaco Service Station. Live Tuesday gets to the root of the music each week from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Only on the nation's coolest, Cool 97 FM. My first ever radio interview done at Cool 97. Um, this was Mellow Mornings or Live Tuesdays. You perform and do your interview and it was just such a vibe and I was so excited to be there. Here I am in a bathroom checking myself out as if I am going for an actual interview for a job. Tell me one thing about my suit, but cute. Um, yeah, a little nervous because I wasn't previewed on the questions, but then that just makes things more interesting, don't you think? Um, I did use Google and some other stuff to prep myself, you know, so let's see how I did. Here we go. Not the first time here. Performs this morning. She's gone from backing vocalist for the likes of Gregory Isaacs to leading her own musical chart and doing so in funny style. And also coming to the cool stage, we did tell you it was a quarter this morning. For the first time, we'll hear from a budding talent who goes by the name Just Kim. That's right. She's a singer, songwriter, who released her very first single in 2016, to be followed by yet another two years later. Talk about being on a roll. With more music on the way, this budding talent is definitely one to watch. Live Tuesday is brought to you through the kind courtesies of our sponsors, Health Creation Industries in White Mouths and Catherine, with the product to Alcavita Alkaline Drinking Water, improve your water, improve your health. And they're over there in White Mile, St. Catherine. Their telephone number is 876 649 like, what is wrong with this stupid ass also, collar? It's not like nobody can see me anyway, so I don't know why I was fidgeting with it. <laughs> but yeah, girl nervous, you know, girl did nervous? I don't think so. Supports provided by Key Mix Audio. Reminding you that you can watch this show live. Yes, this morning we're live via our website, cool97fm.com. Just click the live Tuesday tile, all right? And while you're there, how about dropping a like and subscribe to our Cool TV channel on YouTube, eh? Makes sense. So we're going to get things going with Just Kim. That's Just that's just Kim right here in studio on Cool 97 FM. So I think we're going to start out with... Uh, let's go with the interview first and then we'll hear the music. Makes sense. All right. So greetings to you and welcome to Cool 97 FM. Thank you so much for having me. Greetings. All right. All right, so when did you first get exposed to the stage, the professional stage? The professional stage? Um, well, I started doing music about nine years ago professionally. Mm -hmm. and when I, yeah, when I hit the stage, I, within that time, I want to say, yeah, mm -hmm. within that time span, um, I'm trying to remember the exact year that I actually performed for the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, because I did like weddings and you know oh. small shows like those so so how did you break into that? Um, well, I grew up it or grew up in a musical family uh, my mom and dad you know sing at the church and perform at church so I would sing you know at church mm -hmm. on the choir and um, from there you know we'll they'll have like small shows in our community where i used to live and we would enter me and my sisters um and you know when i started out i met someone who heard me sing and then he introduced me to my now producer and then we just started working together because not many wedding singers pass through cool 97 i must admit <laughs> So <laughs> well, I did. I I did a few little gigs. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, too much of that. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you, or have you moved beyond 
being a gig at, doing a gig at a wedding versus concentrating solely on a recording career definitely definitely they uh, pay you know yes <laughs> <laughs> they do but i have i have moved forward you know praise god um not in the sense that doing weddings are bad no that's a really great experience mm -hmm. but you know you want to grow and expand yeah. and so that's happening so i'm grateful for that okay so all right when did you decide that all right i don't know if you do this 24 7 this is your your job mm -hmm. but what do you you find yourself writing about okay so um love i find myself writing about love you know relatable mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. um experiences uh, yeah mainly mm -hmm. these days okay so what about the conscious side of music mm -hmm. Is it that you you kind of divorced yourself from writing that kind of lyrics? No, never. That never? is a that is a beautiful part of music. Mm -hmm. Um, one that I cherish and love. You know, spreading positivity, and we need so much of that right now. So, I have a new single, mm -hmm. and it's gearing towards that. You know. All right, but let's start with the first single, twenty sixteen. Right. What was the name of that recording? I can't let you go. Can't mm -hmm. let you go. I can't mm -hmm. let you go. And. Two years later, you you did another recording. Which one was that? Let me let me let me um rephrase that. So my very first song that I ever wrote was called "I Can't Let You Go." But my very first song that I um, released professionally is called "Gone." Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So so twenty sixteen was the the first right, one. Gone. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. So what's your second recording? Game of Pro Two. Game of Two. Right. Interesting title. <laughs> okay. All right. So is it that you're a poet by nature? Because those titles seem a little poetic. poetic? Yeah. <laughs> um, I could be. I have written poems. Oh, you know. yes. I hated poetry, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're going to be hearing from you in a very short while. But where does your music take you nowadays? Um, in terms of... What stages have you performed on? Big stages. Oh, oh okay. Let me, let me, big stages. Um, well, right now I have been um, putting on a few of my own shows. Mm -hmm. um, I did one at the Bob Marley Museum and some other locations. Um, I did a recent show at um, Alive that's in Portmore. Um, in terms of being invited to like a major mm -hmm. show, that hasn't happened yet. But mm -hmm. Who knows this yeah. morning? When they hear you perform on Cool 97 FM, it just might be in the future for you. Just she, might be. She's a young All right. Teacher. Who young would you? Teacher. Who if you got if you got a chance to perform with someone, who would it be? Um, or which stage would you? And I also extend that. Which stage would you like to grace? Well, let me let me answer the first part. I think um, I would. I not even think I know. Chronix and um, Tessan Chin. Mm -hmm. Um, big Sun stage, Fest? some Fest? Fest? All right, who knows? Put it out there in the universe. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's our guest this morning, Just Kim. She's going to be performing for you right now. Remember, it's uh, two hours of live music on Cool 97 FM and conversation with the artists. Good morning to all the other persons I see out there. I don't know which of you will be my guest in studio where I get to put through the, the ringer with the questions. But if you're here supporting artists or you, you're actually playing instruments, morning to you as well. All right, so. All right, look at nerves, look at nerves and at the beginning, but overall I think I did well, you know. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought about the interview in the comments. Now enjoy some live performance by me. Replace it. 
the butterflies The game is over, you get no more try And all the tears I cried It makes no sense, you even ask me why I'm gone, gone Never again to hold me in your arms Never again to kiss me It's time Tuesday just came there's more to come all right so this is post interview and live performance and um, a little bit disappointed with myself because 
I just can't remember to take videos when I'm there and in the moment. I mean, that's so lame. No great content captured because is it is it is it bad though? Because I'm like in the moment I'm there, I'm present. I'm talking to people. I'm enjoying the live music, you know, and the performances of other artists and stuff. So. I'm not thinking in that time like okay I need to record this or record that because generally I'm not like that so it was a good experience it was my first interview and like radio interview um it it, it can be frightening because you don't want to say the wrong thing and you don't know what they're going to ask you and you don't want to you know, come off like you don't have any sense in a nutshell, like a big idiot, like say something just dumb. But I am very patient with myself. I give myself grace. I give myself, you know what I say? Room to be human, to make mistakes, to say dumb shit that after probably thinking about it, you're like, hmm, wasn't the best answer. But in a live situation like that, you don't really have all that time to really think and you know put your answers together and in cases where like you didn't receive the questions beforehand which i did not so you know what i said but the world is not so forgiving but i am to myself and that's what matters and you can say things wrong and say things the wrong way and it's all like a learning process but Yeah, so it's like a learning process and you know when I say this have to give yourself room to grow and thing room to learn so um I just take this opportunity as it was and I'm so grateful for it. The live performance I was nervous and I can hear that. Um nerves like listen guys for me I can only speak on my personal experiences and stuff like that but I just get nervous. I, I tell myself, you know, I try to psych myself out like, yo, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm going to have fun. This is great. This is going to be so cool. And, you know, I do those things. And, but I still get nervous. I wasn't like overly nervous, but, you know, there was like a little, a little hint of it. And I really need to tap into singing from a place of non-nervousness, but um but i'm really proud of myself though and i'm looking forward to more chances and opportunities like this one and you know it's always great meeting new people and making new connections and stuff like that so yeah here i am back at home let me tell you see that early morning thing there for do these interviews it's no joke and i'm not like an early morning person but you have to you have to give and take there are some sacrifices you just will have to make if you want you know mess if you want something bad enough so got to got to do it get it done all right so if you watched and if you were present thank you so much and even if you didn't catch the next one zine um, all right so clearly i just yeah, love to talk that. because ain't nobody forcing me and i clearly have nothing more to say but i keep going anyways if you stuck it out until the end thank you so much for watching and what must i wrong guys no so thank you so much for watching <laughs>